training the rangers to use a, a drone and there's two main focuses. One is on the actual piloting of the drone and the skill of doing that and the other is how you use that drone in the field. Um, you know, contrary to popular belief, it's pretty useful, it's useless for tracking someone. It's very useful for reconnaissance of an area. It's very useful for scouting ahead um, of the unit as it's moving. It's very useful for verifying, uh, say for example, a carcass. It's good for um, um, scouting a, a potential ambush positions um, and so on. Um, and the skill is something you can't, um, you can't learn other than by doing. You, know, you can teach someone the controls, you can teach up, down, left, right, forward, back, uh, pivot and so on. But to really become proficient with it, the guys have to practice and practice and practice. So we have a series of batteries, they just change and they keep, uh, um, keep the, the drone up in the air, taking turns to practice different maneuvers, different movements and so on. And as they become more skilled, we give them more complicated tasks and show them more advanced features um, that they can use. Uh, but it's extremely useful and you can imagine with dogs, detection dogs, drones, trackers, motorcycles, vehicles, aircraft, all of these things working in harmony, we're able to respond using other techniques we predict and then we're able to, to uh, uh, pursue and interdict poachers using all of these tools. But this is one tool, it's a very useful tool, but in itself it's useless. It's the tactics, the techniques and the procedures that go with it and using it in tandem with other skills that works.